So in this particular video, I'm going to show you guys how to do the particular effect which I've shown in the intro. And this kind of effect is really good for the travel videos because you can show your footage, you can show your destination footage, you can show your main destination from a plane window, which actually symbolizes travel. With the Gaussian blur, you can actually fake a camera focus effect along with the window effect. So in this particular video, I'm going to show this particular effect for both Final Cut Pro and for Premiere Pro. So if you have come for Premiere Pro, then skip to this portion. And if you have come for Final Cut Pro, then skip to this portion. And with that being said, what's up guys, Pixel Sammy here. Welcome to my newest video. I hope you guys are having a great day. And if you like my kind of content, then do make sure to subscribe to my channel because I want to hit 5,000 subscribers before the end of this year. So please, please subscribe to my channel so that I can reach that goal. Okay, so I have left the asset files for this particular video in the download link below. Okay, so in order to download this file, go to the download link in the bio. Then it will redirect it to my website. I have a website now. It still has a subdomain in it. I will buy a new domain really, really soon. So, in order to download this file, just scroll down. You will see the same video as it is here in my YouTube channel. So, all you need to do is you need to subscribe to my channel. Just press on my face or on my YouTube icon and then to redirect to my YouTube channel. Then press subscribe. If you are already subscribed, then also press subscribe and then go back to the previous page and then it will show. Please wait for 20 seconds. Just wait for 20 seconds because it will check whether you are actually subscribed or not and then it will show your download link. Just click on the download link and then it will redirect to a media file link. And then from the media file link, download the file. And it is that simple. So thank you so much for downloading the files. And with that being said, let's just start it. Okay, so first I'm gonna show for Final Cut Pro. So these are the two footages which I have taken, a plane footage and a footage of the golden bridge. Just drag the plane footage above and make sure they are of the same length. And then around the first second, use the blade tool and cut the plane footage. And then go to the effects panel. Just make sure that in the footage of the plane, there is some movement, at least there is some kind of a movement. And then go to the effects panel, type in mask and drag the draw mask onto the footage onto the second footage and then draw a mask around the window and then as you are making the points if you want to make a curve then click command and then drag it with the cursor and then it will create a curve with more such points in such a way that it covers the entire window and then in the effects panel invert the mask and feather it out accordingly and go frame by frame in such a way that the window is masked out properly so take your own time in doing this because the more time you take in doing this the better this effect will look so now go to the transition panel and find a luma fit transition i have already made a luma fit transition video so you can download it from there so drag the pixel sammy luma fit transition between the two plane footages delete the extra ones like the one on the right hand side and then play back like this so it is a bit too fast so make sure to drag it increase the duration just a little bit more like this so this works out really well as the mask is a bit larger you can make the mask a little bit small also so that the transition is very very perfect so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a fake camera focus effect so go to the effects panel type in gaussian blur or go to the blur section and, and drag the gaussian blur onto the golden bridge footage okay so go around to the third second of the video and set a keyframe to the amount and set it to 0 and then go again around 10 frames later and set a keyframe again and set it to 100 and then go again around 10 frames later and set a keyframe again and set it to 100 and go around 10 frames later again and set it to 0 and go around 1 second later and set a keyframe again and set it to 0 so as the blur effect is a bit fast so I'm going to right click show video animation and then make this 2 points so just repeat this process a lot of times so that you guys can understand this properly. So that is pretty much it. Just fix the mask a little bit more. I have not made a perfect mask. So take your own time in doing this because the more time you take in doing this, the better this effect will look. Now I'm going to show for Premiere Pro. So these are the two footages which I have taken, one of our aeroplane and the second one is of the golden bridge. So at around the first second of the clip, use the blade tool to cut the aeroplane portion. Why am I doing this? I am going to explain it later. 
So go to the effects panel, effects control panel, go to the opacity section and select the masking tool, reduce the size to around 25% and draw the mask around the plane window. And make sure to do a proper masking because the better this masking will be, the better this effect will look. So take your own time in doing this. Make a mask properly. And then invert the mask. You can mask out the feather. It is up to you, it is totally up to you. Just reposition it properly. And set a keyframe to the mask path. And go frame by frame in such a way that the window is masked out properly. So take your own time in doing this because the more time you take in doing this, the better this effect will look. So cut around 10 frames of the first clip of the aeroplane one and around 10 frames of the second clip of the aeroplane one. And then go to the FS panel and search cross dissolve and drag the cross dissolve transition on both of these cutted footages. Now you will see a seamless kind of a transition here. So I'm going to just add the fake focus effect by adding Gaussian blur to it. So go to the FS panel and search in Gaussian blur. And then set a keyframe to the blurriness and go around 10 to 20 frames later. You can modify the keyframes in the animation panel there and set the blurriness to around 62. And then set a keyframe again around 10 frames later and set it back to 0. And this will create a fake focus effect. Just dab the keyframes in the animation panel so that it makes it much more seamless. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix the left edges of the portion where it is not masked properly. I don't know why that happens. So you know to fix that. Just select both of these clips, drag it above one layer and select any one of these clips, press Alt and drag it below and then increase the size. It is actually basically the original footage, you guys need to just have the original footage if you already have one and then I'm going to disable all the effects which I have given to this particular footage so this is basically the original footage nothing special about it so I'm going to just nest the repellent clip where I have used the cross dissolve transition and the masking on and the golden bridge clip which is just below it I'm going to nest it by clicking right and nest sequence and then you get this then click on a nested sequence draw the opacity mask option and then draw a mask around the window like around this what it is basically doing that the masking portion below this clip is the original one so what it is basically doing is it is just compensating for that particular position and then fits in it properly so that you guys don't get that blurriness on the left edges of the clip Thank you so much for watching guys, hope you have liked the video. If you are someone who is interested in cinematography, photography and filmmaking then join in my channel, it's the right, right, right thing for you to do. So come let's join our hands and expand our family as much as we can. And do let me know in the comment section down below about what you are creating today. Peace.